Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Hello maths fans, welcome to another episode of Maths Speed Dating, where today I'm very excited to be joined by Johan. Hi, yes, I'm, I'm Johan, I'm from Germany, and I run a, a German YouTube channel, Der Fuchs. I actually attended to, to do some English YouTube channel, The German Fox, which is kind of the, the name Der Fuchs translated into into English, so Fuchs means fox in, in German. I was about to ask, is that a rude word? <laughs> yeah, no, uh, actually on, on, on some uh, platforms I'm not allowed to use my, my name, the Fuchs, because it's, uh, uh, it's uh, I think when they see F-U-C, they right. immediately sort it out <laughs> and I'm not allowed to, to use my, my name. I mean, I know what you do on the channel, but do you want to explain <laughs> to everyone, if you don't yes. know about Johan's channel, it's very fun. So what is it that you do on the channel? Yeah, so my, uh, my, my biggest videos are songs about mathematics and uh, oftentimes it's also rap songs about mathematics. I started with, with some, some basic topics like uh, binomial formulas mm -hmm. and uh, wrote, a th wrote a song about it and uh, over the years it uh, went further and further and in Germany it's pretty widespread known and many teachers use it. In, in school context and it has like over 4 million views, which mm -hmm. is crazy for a German mathematics video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> German celebrity right here. <laughs> yeah, and also I got invited to some TV shows and, and so on. Okay, so what was your latest maths theme song that you've done on the channel? Ooh, uh, the latest one was uh, in December. I, I actually uh, did the uh, Stirling's formula. Okay, so, uh, yeah, 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 like the approximation for approximation the factorial. For factorial, yeah. Yeah, 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 asymptotically equivalent. Yes. And uh, I actually did the whole proof of it in, in the song. So this was uh, also maybe like my most advanced topic to Amazing. date. <laughs> and, and I was really pleased because uh, I did not find uh, a proof where I would say I, uh, I kind of get it and how it, how it works and where it came from. Uh, most of it was like just here you can prove it somehow and, and yeah, yeah. let's move on. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe you, you should just prove it somehow and move on with your life. But I, I spent like uh, some months thinking about it, where does it come from and... It and, really... and of course the proof has to fit into the lyrics of a song. Yeah, but... but <laughs> I but... feel like that's the hard part here, not the maths. The maths <laughs> no, is like... <laughs> no, actually for me I, I think the hard part is to, to know what I want to say. Okay. But, but then bringing it into lyrics is just uh, like the, the, the small, small uh, okay. part of... Pop, and is that because you've had practice like writing songs, rapping? Yeah, and yeah. so, so right now I, I wrote over 30 songs about mathematics okay. and so uh, just, just writing, writing, writing a song is not, not hard anymore and it's like kind of automatic. And if we had, I'm only going to give you one, but one recommendation for anyone watching who has never experienced Dofuks. I hope that pronunciation was okay. Actually, I like this pronunciation better than most Germans pronouncing the name. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> because uh, most Germans uh, who are not from Saxony we'll don't, don't, don't understand the Saxon accent and they okay. read it and they say like Dorfuchs, but it's just Dorfuchs, so it's short, short O in the, So it, okay. was, it was very good. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I, would, I would recommend uh, either Sterling's formula, uh, okay. it's, it's in German, yep. or actually I have uh, some small English songs uh, at uh, the German Fox at my English channel. I think uh, both will be found in the video description. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Do check them out and I'll be reminding you again at the end so you really have no <laughs> yeah, excuse. Yeah, you should always uh, <laughs> point video away from uh, point people away from your video at the end. Exactly, so that YouTube exactly. Watch this one has, first. Has, has <laughs> If hearing Johan's story has inspired you to want to learn how to make music, then Skillshare is the perfect place to start. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. There are music courses available to suit everyone's tastes, from learning piano with Elijah Fox Peck to freestyle rap with Donald Fitzgill Jr. However, my favorite course, Learn How to Mix Music with Young Guru, guides you through the process of music production led by Grammy nominee Young Guru himself. Having worked with artists such as Jay-Z, Kanye West, Eminem, Beyonce and many more, you can be sure that you really are learning from one of the best in the industry. If you want to try this course for yourself, 
or any of the countless others available on Skillshare, then make sure you join using the link in the video description for a one month free trial. So why not give it a go? And I'm sure you'll be making music as amazing as Johan's in no time at all. All right, so we are of course doing math speed dating. Uh, so do you have any idea what you've gotten yourself into by agreeing to do this? Yes, I, I, I saw uh, the, the first episode, uh, I think, yes, with Grant Sanderson the from 3 Blue One Brown. So maybe some questions are on the questions are the same. I purposefully kept the same questions because I think it's fair to every guest that the same questions are used, though there are a lot of questions, as you can see. So I think with Grant, yeah. we only got through maybe 10% of them. So there's definitely yeah, a lot so that you maybe, won't have seen even if you watch the Maybe there, the there won't be any duplicate question. <laughs> Don't know about that. Um, so for anyone watching who hasn't seen the earlier episodes, and also for the benefit of Johan, just to be super clear, yeah. um, you're going to roll the dice. It's a real, hopefully non-biased dice. <laughs> um, and you're going to get a number between one and six. If you roll a one, you will randomly draw a question from the maths pot, and then we will answer the question. Or I will draw it, I guess, and read it to you. Yeah. If you get a two or a three, we will come from the general pot. Um, four to five come from the pot labeled fun. These two are kind of similar. Um, and then the danger pot, if you get a six. So danger, a danger might be Dangerous. too strong of a word, but they're the kind of, yeah. let's say, you, so obviously you don't know the questions apart from the ones you've maybe seen in previous episodes, but these are the ones where maybe you might not want to answer it necessarily. That's how Let, I've tried to divide <laughs> it up with danger, but we shall see. Um, right, you ready to go? Yeah. Okay, when so, you're ready, roll the dice. I, I don't, I'm not doing yes, it, you, yeah, you can't yeah, accuse I, me I, of I, cheating I here. So first one, number four. So the uh, fun, fun part, do you want me to draw it or would you like to draw it? Ah, yeah, so no. If you draw I, it and I, then I, I draw pass it to so me. I'm, I'm completely Again, you know I'm not uh, cheating. responsible. Okay. First question. I like this one already. I mean, I like them all. I picked them all. And I should also say at this point, before we read any questions, the reason this is called math speed dating is all of these questions, apart from the math spot, anything in general, fun, or danger came from speed dating websites. So these are apparently questions that are suggested prompts if you go speed dating. So we are not speed dating, but we are doing <laughs> an interview with maths. So we're calling it math speed dating. Okay, question one. If a movie was made about your life, who would you want to play you? Ooh, uh, actually I, uh, I don't have any uh, single actor who is my favorite actor of all time uh -huh. or so. Uh, Anyone, anyone has ever said, you sort of remind me of this person, or you look a little bit like this person. I'm, I'm, or... I'm trying to think of something like this, but I think it has never happened to me. So okay. I'm, I'm kind of com completely clueless. I think it would be funny if, uh, if the actor has a good uh, Saxon, Saxony accent. Okay. Because it's also, also in my name, and I, yeah. I, I like to, to not suppress it. Okay, that's fair. So you would want a good specifically German from Saxony region actor. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I okay. think this, this, this would be nice. And I, I, I really don't, don't know so many German actors. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> specifically. And then even, I would say, I unfortunately don't know any German actors off the top of my head. And again, like specifically that region. Right, you're really narrowing yeah, your yeah, choices Yeah, yeah, down. yeah, I, I really narrowed it down. And, and, and simultaneously, I only thought about Hollywood, and so there was no intersection. All right, well, there we go. Somebody from German mm -hmm. Saxony. Yes. Number five. five. That's still fun. <laughs> well, I, I just love how the fact that this jar is labeled fun sort of implies none of the other questions are fun. Oh, fun. <laughs> <laughs> right, if we were to take yeah, it. But, but uh, this is labeled math and... In, in every question, you could find math if you want to. If you could invite anyone, dead or alive, to dinner, who would it be? Ooh, I, I don't know whether I, I, I saw the, the question or already in the video with Grant, or if I'm just, I have already thought about it, and my first thought was uh, Ramanujan. I like it. You're yeah. Straight, you know, I like that. You, yeah, you yeah, can so tell I'm he's going, a mathematician. Going, going straight to, to mathematics. <laughs> no, I think that's fair. Yeah. So for any particular reason or just 
it's uh, obviously it, be super interesting to talk to. Yeah, yeah. So just to, to see how his how his mind works mm. and and. Uh, but maybe I'm even too too intimidated by him. Maybe I would like to have a recording of of, of him at lunch and not right. actually have, <laughs> having to interact with him. Okay, I'll, I would, I'll I would, go to dinner <laughs> with Ramanujan, Raman and, and, and you, you can, can you watch can, the video. Yeah, or you just tell me how he is. <laughs> so this would be enough, even. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Brilliant. I like how we went in with the maths answer there. No, most people don't. So I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I like it. I like it. You I don't think have no. I, I think that's the perfect answer. Yeah, yeah. So for for the for yeah. the math channel, definitely. If, uh, if if I if I think more back into history, I think I would say Jesus. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that would also be really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Three. Ah, it's a so different it's a number. Different number. Oh, and it is a different. Also, I was about to say it's the same pot, but it's no, a different pot. Almost my my first thought, but then. What is your dream job? Uh, actually, uh, uh, being being a YouTuber, uh, doing basically what 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 I want to do, mm -hmm. which oftentimes is mathematics or music or something else. And so, actually, it's also my plan uh, till now. After finish, finishing my PhD, which I'm currently writing, yep. to go full time with YouTube. And yeah, so see if this works out and mm. for how long it will work out. So you're about to start the dream job. Yes, I'm hopefully. about to start yeah. my dream job. <laughs> but, but also, I must say, in, in like most activities, I can see myself being fulfilled by doing this. And mm -hmm. uh, so, so at least most of what I am able to do after, after having a PhD in mathematics, it's, yeah. it's like... Only the good jobs are available now. <laughs> <laughs> and how, I know you should never ask this to a PhD student, so apologies. Do you have like an end date in mind? Like how far away are we from Yeah, no, since, since I'm, uh, I'm doing my PhD since almost five years now. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, the, the, the clock is ticking mm. and uh, the, the deadline is coming forward. So uh, by the end of 2023, I have to be done. Okay, so you've got another year and a half. Yeah. Maximum. So, so maximum. And you're thinking of kind of taking your time or your ideal world, you'll be finished within a year or uh, are no, you not setting no, that I, deadline yet? Uh, uh, I, I have not set, set a hard okay. deadline That's for fine. now, but, yeah. but so generally I, I thought to myself, by the end of this calendar year, I have to have a concrete plan on, on what are the steps all, all the steps that are necessary to to write it all down and put it put it in okay. and and act, actually so in, in the in the last days uh, my 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 last doubts about whether the approach I'm following still gets to to the finish line uh, are kind of uh, uh, moved away and I have some some results now and, awesome. and already showed them to my PhD supervisor who's also here at at Oxford. Uh, we are attending a conference, so it's it's nice. Yes, this is I why can, we are recording yeah, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it, it was really fun because you, uh, after we we both did on uh, Jens Fehlau's Flammable Math Channel, yes, we, we is, met. Thank for you, the Jens, first time. for putting thank making you, this Jens. happen. Yeah, and and then we had like two emails going back and forth, and yeah. then I just forgot about it, and, and and time went on, and like two two weeks ago, I I got pretty spontaneous uh, the the ability to go to the conference here in Oxford. Yeah. And about the same time this was all decided, you actually replied after half a year or yes. so. Hey, I, I saw uh, the email was not forgotten. Maybe we can do something. Yeah. And I was like, oh, perfect timing. I'm coming to Oxford. We can meet. And so yeah. this is how this video got. Exactly. Got exactly. To be. Numbers. Oh, it's number six. Danger. Dun, 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 yeah. Dun, dun. Good I think it's, it's easier if, if just you... Oh, no, 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 oh, no. no I, I don't want to be accused of... Okay, okay. Of, <laughs> you need to be of, responsible of for your choices, yeah. Yeah, I was not responsible for the last one, I think. Oh, did I not? Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so, uh, there are worse ones in there. Do you break traffic rules if you do not see a cop around? So if the police aren't visibly near you, would you break some kind of traffic rule? Uh, I actually try to not... Two. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really a big fan of waiting at the, the red light, even if yeah. there's nothing around and just, just kind of uh, mindlessly following the rules as, as long as uh, they are good rules or mm -hmm. 
maybe maybe you, you could argue that some rules are stupid or, or something, but I think in general, if you if you just stick to the rules, you can kind of forget about uh, every decision. Is it safe now? Is it safe later? It's you, made you just for follow you. the it's rules. It's, yeah. it's made for you, and and you're you're safe in in life. Does this also count for the rule, which I believe is definitely exists in some parts of Germany about crossing the street, where you it's illegal to cross the street unless you're at a specific crossing point. Ah, yeah. So because so in the UK that's just totally not a thing. I know in parts of the US, is it called jaywalking? It's like it's actually yeah. illegal and you can get a ticket for it. Okay, so I'm 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 not really confident. I think if there's a, a, a stoplight mm -hmm. nearby, you you are not allowed to to just go like 10 meters or, or 50 you meters should, yeah, okay. uh, away from, from a stoplight, you should go uh, use the, use of the course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, stoplight. And you would do that? And, like you, uh, you can't think of a situation where you remember like running across the road when you shouldn't have? Or... Well, uh, there, there were some situations like uh, there, there's a, a train which I have to get. And, and you're just like, so, don't so care I, anymore. I, <laughs> <laughs> I cross the, the, the angle a little bit. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, but 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 usually, if 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 I have any possibility to to do it the right way, I I would try to do it the right way. Okay. Yeah. Very very good. Very good. Yeah. Citizen, yeah. Right it's, here. It's, good it's, citizen. It's, it's safe. <laughs> oh, sorry. You're picking. So, oh, yeah. Now. So I I have to be responsible for. Especially with the, the danger ones. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We've got Ooh, the large big piece one. Of Ooh. I don't think it means the question's big. It's just me being lazy when I cut off the pages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. This, this is a good follow-on from your last one. If you could commit one crime without being caught, what would it be? Ooh. So, so you have I, a complete I guess... blank slate. You can do any crime you want, and you will not face any punishment for it. Okay, okay. Uh, amazed by how how much freedom I, I have right now in, in, in Germany or in the Western world. And I, That's true. Say there's no no illegal activity where I, I think ooh I I, w I would do it if it w were allowed. I'm no robbing a bank sounds pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, but m maybe the the uh, the big thing is uh, if um, it's one question whether I get punished for it and it's mm -hmm. another question whether I feel guilty for it. And yes, I think true. I have no. Uh, no desire to feel guilty about a, a thing where I, I knew it was wrong, but I did it anyway because I know I would not be punished. Mm -hmm. I think this is not, not a good, good way to live life. Okay, so, so, okay, even, so you'd just be like, you'd be like, I do not want, thank you for my free pass, but I'm, yeah, I'm so, 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 so it's, it's, I, I think the, the real question for me would be, do I find an activity where I think it should be legal? It, it, should, it, it is the right mm. thing, but it is illegal. But right now, I cannot think of any example. Unless it were to like, I don't know, to perhaps, let's say, protest something in a place where you're not allowed to protest. Yeah, maybe something like this. You know, where you're, you're sort of doing something that perhaps we would see in the Western world as like a right or as something that we should yeah, yeah, you know, stand up for. But perhaps in certain regimes around the world, it's illegal to do that or something. Yeah, yeah. Or, or maybe just like... Make, making a thing public where I think it should be public, but it actually is against is some copyright law. Mm -hmm. So right, okay, Inter yeah. oh, okay, interesting. Copyright <laughs> laws come into it. okay. The YouTuber comes out. <laughs> so you want to basically break copyright law for some music stuff? Got it. <laughs> yeah, no, no, maybe for 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 just some uh, critical data which the public should see or something okay. like this. All right. Yeah. Cool. We got there. Oh, number one. First time, so now we. Okay, I love the excitement that you got the last one. <laughs> yes, because it's the last uh, bucket, so now we have all. There you go. Yeah. And 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 right now, I, if even if it's the the math uh, category, I'm thinking, how many uh, rolls of dice did it take before we hit every four, all the four draws, and is this uh, more or less than the expected value? Because two and three and four and five are together, this this becomes an even harder problem. <laughs> so I, I, I leave this and I'm looking forward to, to see the comment where, where people resolve this question. <laughs> question for the audience. Yes. Exercise for the reader. Exercise for yeah, the yeah, viewer. Yeah, this, this left as an exercise for the viewer. Um, so I should also clarify for everyone watching and for yourself, it's labeled maths. It's maths slash YouTube questions. Because everyone I seem to be interviewing in the maths speed dating context 
happens to make YouTube videos, so it's related to that. But your channel, your YouTube channel, features maths, is about maths, so you know, it's, it's going in the maths jar. Yeah. What is the, your favorite topic you've researched? Either for a video or specifically as a mathematician. I think yeah, yeah, I, I think as a math mathematician, I kind of followed what was given to me and uh, yeah. had not so much uh, mm -hmm. yeah. around it. But I think uh, for, for videos and so on, uh, what, what comes to mind is uh, uh, pi being transcendent and mm -hmm. how to prove it. Yes. Which Very is cool. kind of like uh, uh, the last really big uh, proof centered around pi where I did not fully get to the point of uh, uh, understanding it. And I, ooh, I, I don't know whether I should say it publicly, publicly but, but I, let's just say it. Uh, maybe I'm doing a song about it. Uh, okay. So this would, uh, yeah, so really understanding it for me always means I, I wrote a song about it and I then see. I had to go through everything <laughs> and make sure I, I, well, I was going to ask, did you do a, a song about this? Yeah, so no, I, 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 did, okay. I did a song about P uh, being irrational and, and the whole proof of this. Yes. So this is an, another recommendation for, for people who like uh, mathematics. Yeah, yeah, in, also in the video description. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this, this was a lot of fun and pi being transcendent is, is uh, some levels more than, right, than yeah, this, yeah, yeah. As, as you uh, know. Part of me thinks I should, since I'm now at 250,000 subscribers, this could maybe be my 314,000 subscriber special. It feels like it should be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and, yeah. and you've just said it now. Yeah, yeah, I camera, said it now. So. But, but, but it's uh, just an idea. I, I did not sign any contract with you <laughs> as viewers. I and, think, well. And, and even now, uh, for 271 or 271,000 subscribers, I could do Euler's number being transcendent as yes. the 271,000 subscriber special. Yeah. But I'm, um, yeah. Right now, I, I don't want to commit uh, preparing this while doing my PhD to, to got, not get distracted. That's sensible. That's sensible. So, yeah, so yeah. maybe I can finish my PhD before hitting 270,000 subscribers. So subscribe, so, but like but, but, slowly. But, but, yeah, slowly. <laughs> subscribe slowly. Number two. two. Yeah, this no. was general. Yes. Okay. We, are, we are tackling the, the big questions, at least. <laughs> <laughs> if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? <laughs> this is another boring answer for me. It would be in, in Dresden, where, where I live right now. <laughs> okay, completely valid answer if you're not allowed to live there. Okay, yeah, so... You can't live in Germany. Okay, okay, okay yeah, yeah, <clears throat> uh, excluding Germany. Actually, I have not uh, visited very many places in the world, but of course you, you see some places mm -hmm. and heard about places. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about uh, uh, somewhere where it's warm and you have uh, uh, ocean and, and the beach uh, because this is a very nice holiday for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but I also would, would first want to think about real deep about whether this is good for, for having it always or whether it is better to just have it as a holiday. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, actually, here, here in, in, in Oxford, it, it, it's right at the moment. Pretty seems nice. Like, like, like I, I a pretty can, nice yeah. town to, to, to live in. Yeah. All right. So Oxford? Yeah, Oxford. Perfect. <laughs> Germany, 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 Germany. And somewhere down the list, Oxford. Oxford. <laughs> but, but then the list goes on and on and on. <laughs> Maths again. Yeah. yeah. Name your favorite mathematician. Um, Always a tricky one. Yes, actually yes, a yes. I'm, I'm thinking about <laughs> some so many different ones and and why the way they could be my yeah. my favorite. Uh, I think right right now I'm I'm going with uh, Samuel Meyer, which you I think have not heard of, but he just won uh, the second time in a row a gold medal at the uh, International Math Olympics. Brilliant. Uh, and I. I, I spoke to him just a few words at the German Math Olympiad, where I was in, invited to, to have some, some songs about mathematics oh, for, awesome. for the students there. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is what Did you like the, perform for them? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I performed. So, so every time, uh, I think it's, it's uh, oftentimes that you have like 
uh, one mathematician doing a, a small lecture or, mm -hmm. or something, yeah. and I was actually in, invited to do this lecture for, uh, for the, the German highest level of, yeah. of math Olympiad. Fantastic. And, and so I, I find it really fascinating uh, if, if people are, are, are able, uh, students are able to tackle these problems where most even high, highest level mathematicians look at it and think about it for days and, and mm -hmm. maybe find some, something there. They are, and they are able to do it in 90 minutes and get yeah. the, the full credit for it and, and find it is, solutions. Yeah, it, it's, and it's incredible. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, Olympiad questions are hard. Yeah, so, so right now I, I, I at least a little bit followed the, the mm. Math Olympiad and I like And, it, and is, is um, this a member of the German team? Yeah, he, he, uh, yeah and, and he was, uh, I, I think he's the only one who, who went there now the second time. Okay. And the others were there for the first time. Mm -hmm. And he actually already had a gold medal at the last event and now again. Amazing. Yeah, which is, which is not the first time in, in Germany. Uh, mm -hmm. Lisa Sauermann was, uh, was there, as, I think, six times. Wow. No, 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 five times and four gold medals and one silver medal. And she's also from, from Dresden initially. She went there to school. Oh, right. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And, and the other one who is uh, really good uh, from Germany or who was really good as a student was uh, Peter Scholze. So, yes. Yeah. So, so this is now a Fields medalist. Yeah, I recognize so, that name. So yeah, yes. and he, I think he has also three gold medals at the Math Olympiad. And is he based in Germany still? Yes, yes. Yeah, he's he still, is, he's right. still uh, in Germany. Lisa Sauermann is, I think, in, in the USA right now. Mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm not really sure. But yeah. Peter Scholz stayed in, in Germany. He's, uh, I, I, when, when I saw interviews with him, uh, he was also like, uh, top places to live, Germany, Germany, Germany. <laughs> so he's, he's also kind of like, yeah, it's, it's nice to not, not have to go anywhere. I think that's fair <laughs> enough. It's not, yeah, no, it's not for everybody traveling yeah. and moving around and things. So yeah, yeah. All right. Well, actually, now thinking about the math Olympiad, it, it comes down to, to the third and sixth problem. Maybe you, you know uh, the, the math Olympiad. They have, I do not, actually. They, no, they no, have no. Uh, three prop problems every day. And right. the first one should be solvable by everyone who, who managed to get there. Yeah. So the second one should be 50-50. And the last one should be only uh, really, really uh, okay. made by, by the top students. Yeah. And all the, the statistics are, are really... Uh, you really see the steps. So they get like from zero to seven points for each. And uh, if you look at the, the mean score, it's always like five for the first yeah. each day, three, and then less than one right. in, the, in the average wow. points. <laughs> so yeah, and I also find it fasc fascinating how to find the problem which can be on, on the last uh, problem. Yeah, to come up with them in the first place. Come, yeah, come yeah, up yeah, with yeah. a problem yeah. where only like 15 students at the International Math Olympiads in the world can solve it in this time frame, mm -hmm. but also n not accidentally take them something where no one was able to solve yeah. it. So yeah, to yeah, find yeah. this specific... It's a skill in itself to yeah. set in yeah. any exam situation as someone who sets exams. That there's a complete yes. skill set to being able to, as you say, you want some questions everybody can do. You want some approximately a half or so can do and then you want some of the bits that are going to be very challenging for the best students yeah and i mean if i do uh, yeah. for the university an exam and i had one accidentally in it where no one was able to solve it and so what but if it happens at the math olympiad then you cannot distinguish between the top students yeah, yeah, but yeah. you sh should find mm. the top students it's, <laughs> it's fascinating before we get off topic okay let's fun. do some fun question again <laughs> Actually, th this is all a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> what would you take with you to a desert island? There's no restriction on the number of items, I don't believe. So yeah. just... Actually, in, in Germany right now, in the YouTube community, there's a, a, a new format, Seven versus Wild, and they had like the, the first season uh, is over. And the, the concept is that seven people go to the first concept was in, in Sweden, some, some okay. location, and just completely alone, mm -hmm. they can bring seven items and have to survive there. Right. <laughs> and, and, and now uh, the second season is, is uh, go rolling around, and now uh, the, the people are set, uh, and they actually go to a tropical island for, okay. for seven days. So you have some inspiration and, and, of what and, you and need. Yeah, so, so I, I already saw some, some content about it, and, and maybe even thought about a little bit to uh -huh. myself, what, what would I choose? And I think 
the first thing for me would be uh, uh, in German it's Hängematte, so a, a hanging uh, like, like a clothesline, a fabric or, or a oh, clothesline. Oh, so like like a top hole in for like a shelter, uh, almost, or, or the string itself or the rope yeah, itself. Yeah, uh, so so that you can lay inside it and sleep. In oh, it. like a so hammock. A hammock. Hammock is, is the word. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this I, I think would be my my number one priority. Okay. So that yeah. I get off the ground and not get eaten by insects yes. in the night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, but. Anything else? Um, just, just, you know, just a couple of yeah, things yeah, that so come I to did, mind? So I, I, had, I had not only one item. Uh, maybe I would take with me just some uh, pen and paper to, to be able to, okay. uh, to express my thoughts and Interesting, do yeah. some mathematics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, that seems sensible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these, these are the first ones that come to mind. Maybe also, as, as a book, I would take with me my, my Bible. So uh, I think there, are, there can be learned a lot of you in... in in some lonely mm. area, yeah. but but have something something not not only just one book which you read and then you you're but bored continue all the rest, but, yeah. but the the Bible is like one of these books you can always go back to and learn something for yourself. And mm -hmm. Okay, so you can sit in your hammock whilst reading the Bible. Yeah, and also and I have write down your thoughts write down as my you thoughts. read it. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Number one. All right, maths again. Favorite theorem or mathematical result? Ooh. No, I, 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 there, there's a, a podcast, I think, my favorite theorem or, or something okay. like this from, from some mathematicians where they mm -hmm. uh, have one mathematician guest and he talks about his favorite theorem. Yeah. And the last one I, I heard on this podcast or, or one that it was inspiration for one of my videos uh, was when... Uh, standing at the origin and uh, having a tree at every integer coordinate. So every point which has two integers as coordinates. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then the question is, how many trees can you see? I mean, obviously you can see infinitely many. Yes. But uh, if you take like uh, with some radius, mm -hmm. some ball, and yeah. count which... which uh, 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 so all the visible trees divided by all the trees inside the ball, yeah. and then the radius goes to infinity. What is this uh, uh, this ratio? Mm -hmm. uh, does it have a limit? And the answer is it does have a limit. And I <laughs> I did the video about it. I'm not really sure. I think it was six over pi squared or something. So, oh, so, I was so, literally waiting so, for pi to yeah, appear yeah, yeah. So, the so, answer, so, like. so pi, pi was there, but, but it did not come from the circle. It was also if you take rectangles and, and make them even also bigger. Okay, wow. Yeah, yeah, so, so there was but is some... it not due to the circular field of vision? Uh, right. I no, should, no, I, I don't think. It, it's no? it's, it's okay. in the end, uh, you, you see every point uh, where the, the coordinates are co-prime. Okay. Because if they are if, if they are not co prime then there's the uh, the uh, one before it blocking the it one before it, which is co prime blocking it yeah yeah yeah, yeah and yeah. so this is kind of the question of if I two, choose two integers randomly what's the probability of them being co prime yes 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 yeah and and in this and is that six over pi squared uh, I I think so I, <laughs> I, I would have to look it up <laughs> something but, but like it, that but okay. but it's it's something with pi and and, and this Obviously, is the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was always no, that's that's a I've never heard that before. That's a really cool theory. Oh, number six, danger. I, I think I'm, I'm motivated. No, no matter what, what the number is. All right. <laughs> what is the cheesiest chat up line you have heard? So you don't Ch chat up line. Chat up line. So if someone's trying to pick up someone in a bar. Okay. And then like approaches them and says, you know, like the classic, uh, yeah. did it hurt when you fell from, from heaven? Yeah, or, this was that the, kind actually, of terrible, terrible thing. The, is there, the, is there the, one? So the this is not, one that came not of course, mind. one that you've used, just one that you've heard somewhere that sticks yeah. in your mind as being just particularly awful. Yeah. Oh, I, uh, uh, the, the, uh, must, has it hurt when you fell from, from heaven or something? Uh, is, is, is the one that came to my mind at first. And this is typically... Uh, Exactly, my, my humor, just some, some obviously bad joke yeah. or, 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 or line <laughs> just somewhere thrown in. But I'm not able to. Well, I, to, I, to think I could, another one that comes to my mind, given the fact that 
it's currently like 400 degrees in Oxford and in this room in particular, yeah. is uh, you say to somebody, you're so hot, you're the reason for global warming. Okay. <laughs> Which yeah, I think yeah, is particularly yeah, it's, it's, cheesy it's, and particularly bad. Yes, yes. But I kind of like the nerdiness of it. <laughs> like, it's very like... No, no more comes to mind from, from you right now. So I'm just going to roll the dice again. Three. Number three. What was your best weekend this year? The best weekend this year? For, it could be for a multitude of reasons. Something you did, something that happened. Got yeah. some good news. Who knows? But. Ooh, I <laughs> have to think about my, my weekends. <laughs> I think it's 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 uh, again some some boring answer for me to uh, w when when there's a weekend where I'm I'm at home I don't have to do anything and I can meet with friends and we can play board games all day. These that are, sounds great. These yeah. are the the best weekends and I I had some this year already. Perfect. What kind of stuff do you play normally then? Uh, so for example, uh, Catan. The okay, yeah, yeah, of yeah, Catan. Yeah. I've never played, but I have heard of it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I I actually since my uh, when when I had my 18th birthday, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's uh, a big deal in, in Germany and and uh, many uh, throw a big party when they are first allowed to drink alcohol yeah. and so on. And and I thought to myself, oh no, 18th birthday, and uh, also some of my friends are in the. Uh, category of no, I, I don't like this whole, whole yeah. 18th birthday thing. But I thought to myself, well, I have no no interest in doing the usual stuff. Mm -hmm. But let's think about what I really want, to, where what I would enjoy most out of this day. And so I decided to uh, do a Settlers of Catan tournament where, where I invited all of my friends and we played it as a tournament. Did you win? And, being uh, the birthday boy? Uh, no, no, I, <laughs> I did not win on my my 18th birthday. But from from then on. Uh, every year I did uh, the Settlers of Catan uh, birthday and last year uh, I won for the first time. Woo! <laughs> yeah, <so> woo. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have uh, 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 a lot of friends who take it really seriously okay, okay. and we have the, some, some rules about it yeah. and we even bought another set of uh, figures to play and I had some gold spray and sprayed them golden. So now the winner of, of my, my birthday Settlers of Catan tournament can play with the golden figures for one year. Amazing. And, and right now I'm, I'm the one uh, for the first time having the golden figures to play. I love that. Yeah. That's amazing. That's yeah. so cool. I'm, I'm also very glad that I did it and also yeah, yeah. that I continue to do it. <laughs> so now you're like, I don't want the next birthday to come around so you could continue to play with the gold figures. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought about stopping it now. Yeah, 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 we're, we're done, guy. Like, no, we're, no, we're no, calling no. it. This isn't happening anymore. No, no, it's, 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 it's fun to also give it away. And yeah. also uh, I have, this is kind of the, the wandering uh, or Pope uh, trophy, mm -hmm. but then also I, I always uh, let print uh, one cup where, where it says, uh, so in German is uh, Die Siedler von Katan, is the okay. Settlers of Katan, yeah. and uh, Der Sieger von Katan is the winner of Katan. It's, it, it's spelled okay. uh, pretty, pretty uh, next to it, or, or pretty, the, pretty much the same. Yeah. So I, I kind of decided to switch the logo around, but just for, <laughs> for personal use. Actually, I, I tried to, to print it on, on a cup, mm -hmm. and uh, one website said, no, it's, it's too, too close to a, to a brand. We, oh, we cannot right. do this commercially and so on. <laughs> so, <laughs> maybe uh, this That's is... the one law you can yeah, break. Yeah, so this, this is <laughs> the one law. <laughs> print your settlers. I, I, I print my own settlers of Qatar without permission from them. Number three, General. How many US states have you visited? Ooh, I I have visited like like six or seven. Okay. Uh, I've I've been there once. Right, and then you did like and, a and, little. And then we we did a a, a road trip. Brilliant. Yeah. So where did you go? Yeah, we started in Nashville, Tennessee. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And and uh, then we went south uh, to Florida. Yeah. To the to the coast. Mm -hmm. And then back again through through Mississippi also, uh, yeah, and also Alabama was was part of it. Yeah. And also, we, we then did uh, like a two-day trip from, from Nashville to uh, Kentucky yeah. and back. That's five. And yeah, so, uh, I mean, I was in Atlanta or, 
Georgia, Atlanta's uh, Georgia, uh, right? I, I think, think it's Georgia uh, State. but but uh, there there I just was at the the airport. Okay, that doesn't count. But <laughs> uh, but not not only this. Uh, uh, I, I missed the, the flight to, to Nashville from there. Okay. So I actually stayed there for one night in an hotel and then... And that does to, count. Uh, so, so, so <laughs> I apologize. Does count. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And was it, were you like flying, driving? Yeah, yeah. We, we flew there or? and then we, uh, it was uh, a group of my, my best friends mm -hmm. and we uh, 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 had a car uh, yeah. which we rented for for like 10 days or so, okay, and around. then we drove around in it. Very cool. Always stayed in the cheapest hotel we right. could find Some in the area. Some dodgy motels. Yeah, like. yeah, so there were many dodgy hotels, and, and uh, we always booked one room and slept there, all five of us, and wow. so, yeah, it was, it was <laughs> we, 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 uh, we were not really financially uh, yeah. equipped to do it, but we, we made it possible anyway. Did they let you do that, or did you not tell them there was five of you? We, we actually asked every time, and they let okay. us do it every, they every said time. It was, they were like, as long as you're aware it's a double bed, or there's two double yeah, beds. Yeah, yeah, they were yeah. Like, they were like, no, okay. no, no problem. All right. As long as you pay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, because I've, I've been to, um, the very first time I went to Las Vegas, there was 10 of us going in two cars. And we booked a suite because it was like a really good deal with like a jacuzzi. But then when we got there, it had a single double bed mm. and we just all like slept on the floor. But we didn't tell them. And I guess it would have been fine, but like we had two room keys and you just, you know, two people went to check in and went upstairs and then everyone else just got in the lift and came up and knocked on and came in the room. So like we, a bit sneaky. I don't know whether we were allowed to do it or not because the place was huge. So we just mm. all slept on the floor and there was like... A, three different sofas like I slept in the jacuzzi with no water in like <laughs> yeah it was actually pretty amazing because we always just looked for the cheapest room possible yeah booked it and I think always there were two double beds in right. it yeah, so, yeah. It so it was it's actually actually it's not too bad yeah good. only one of us had to sleep on the floor yeah did you like rotate who who did it or was there like someone who was like I will yeah. be the floor person uh, no no we, we I think we had like like two of us who who, who said, um, I'm, I'm really, uh, if I have the choice, I sometimes choose the floor because oh, I can okay. sleep better with, with heart on the ground. Fair enough. Going to number four. Fun again. I like how you're just picking them from the top rather than having a yeah, yeah, around. Yeah, no, it's, uh, <laughs> I think because they, they, they were shuffled around by in, before. This is a good one. If you were a bird, what kind of bird would you be? Ooh. <laughs> I can just imagine like somebody at a, you know, on a date saying to somebody else. So I've got a <laughs> yeah, question yeah, so for you. <laughs> like, I, I, what are these questions? I, 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 I think since the beginning, I already forgot that these are speed dating yeah. questions because they're just, just good questions in general. You're a bird. Uh, if I'm a bird. bird. I'm, I'm always prepared for if you're an animal, then I can say the a fox. Of course. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. So, but, but for, for the bird, I'm not prepared. Uh, do you have a favorite bird? Is there one that comes to mind? Or you're like, I feel like this bird is like pretty cool or has a cool life or I, I, I think is colorful, looks uh, cool. A penguin come, comes to mind. It's Are we counting penguins as birds? That's the question, right? Uh, so I, I think I, they are, right? Are they flightless uh, birds? Is that I, I, the technical I think description? They, they, they are. They can't fly though, right? Yes, yes, okay, they, okay. They, they can't fly. fly. But, but I th yeah, I think I'm with but, you. I could be wrong. I believe a penguin is a flightless bird. So yes, that yeah. would be a valid answer. Yeah. So so actually, I'm 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 not really that interested in in going uh, the the fastest and and also okay. I'm uh, I especially in, in school I was uh, a peculiar slow uh, when when having to do the uh, set distance and now right, we, yeah, we yeah. stop the time. And <laughs> this this was uh, not not a pleasant experience right. for me, and uh, yeah. So so my 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 mind actually went to some some bird which is not not really the fastest or the so so not even flying yeah, yeah, so nice. but 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 it's, it's very still, unique very popular people love penguins yeah yeah very unique cute animals and, and popular yeah, yeah. popular animals and, and they also s always seem so so chill they yeah, just yeah, yeah. like they're getting like the battered day. by this like minus 50 degree storm and they're just kind of yeah, like yeah, huddling up like yeah but okay. what do we do we, we take life as it comes and yeah. it's okay i like it so i, I like it <laughs> <laughs> okay In danger all right. I feel like I need some kind of music, like dun 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 dun. <laughs> yeah. Post, um, post production. Ooh. What was the biggest trouble you got into at school? Ooh. Do you specifically remember getting into trouble or getting shouted at for something at school? I think this. Or would... university. I'll. 
allow you yeah, to no, decide. I, I, uh, at university, I can't think of much of trouble, but in school, uh, kind of in the in the cur current theme of heat wave, yeah, uh, we <laughs> we had uh, one day where we as students felt like this this should be uh, hitzefrei, so so no school because it's too too hot. Yeah. Too hot. Yeah. Is there a word for it in, in English? Um, I don't think there's a specific word. So we have like yeah. snow day. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, snow but day. I, I, as far so, as I'm so aware, heat, I think heat. literally right this week was the first time I can remember schools being closed because of the heat. Okay, so it was so over 40 not, degrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they yeah, were right. like, schools I, are closed. I, yeah, yeah, maybe it's, it's, so, it's more often in, in Germany, perhaps, yeah. but in the UK, through the, through the ocean, you have not so, yes, so many. Yes, it's usually not days. this, nowhere yeah. near this bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, so w we as students decided that it's, it's too hot. Yeah. Uh, we, we should have uh, mm -hmm. a heat day or, or however you would call it. And, and then in, in the class, we, we kind of said, well, let's, let's just all, uh, as one group, let's just not go to, to, right. to the next lecture. Yeah. And I was one of the, the, the ones who just went home. But then, of course, some stayed there and uh, did not follow through. And yeah, then, and then we, everyone, we all, left, every, everyone got, got a call, we should, should be back. So, so I, I went back and uh, uh, in the end, uh, like we, we have uh, at the top of, uh, of our paper on the end where you uh, the Zeugnis. So uh, at the end of the school year, you get yes. your, your, your grades. Yes. And at the top, uh, there are Kopfnoten in Germany. So like your soft skills or uh -huh. how well you behave is, is, is yeah. has one mark. And everyone who left on that day got their mark grade down one, one right. step. And this was also for me. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> it sounds perfectly reasonable to yes, me. But. Yes, for, for me it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. but this was uh, the, the most so another, another trouble I got in. Example of you kind of breaking the rules when you felt it was, the rules should be broken, you know? Kind of yeah, like, it's yeah, not yeah, quite yeah. a crime, it but was, you know, it's it was, similar, it was, it was, similar kind of vibe. It was breaking, breaking the rules. Yeah. Number five. Okay, fun. Okay, this is an excellent one. One of my favorite questions. Ooh. If you could be granted three wishes, what would they be? They don't have to be realistic. Yeah. Anything you want. So, three wishes right now. What would your three wishes be? First of all, I wish for more wishes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're not allowed yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. As, as the usual. standard <laughs> rules of standard wish making rules, uh, apply. As the set but, cannot contain itself yes. and so on. <laughs> but you know, I mean like if you say, I wish I could fly, like that's allowed. Yeah. Right? It doesn't have to be something that could happen. But yes, you have three wishes, what would they be? I think I would wish for uh, my my PhD thesis uh, being completed and in the past. Amazing, yeah, uh, okay, which, so the PhD, uh, yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I like it. Um, uh, right now, just suffering from the heat, I, I would say, <laughs> I, I, I would wish for, for uh, climate change and global warming just unexpectedly taking a turn and, and going to the normal levels again. Yeah, yeah, okay, I like this, that. This, Let's reverse this, global yeah, warming. Yeah, yes. Beautiful. Yeah, I can get on board let's, with that one. Let's do it. And, uh, well, maybe in the end, I, I would wish for like, like a, a, a book for rules how society actually works, which, I, which would be a, uh, available for everyone, so so everyone knows. Like a universal rule book that just means everyone's happy, everything's fair, everything's great. Kind yes, of like, yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of like and and mm -hmm. like a cheat book for life on planet Earth. Yes, yes, yes. So so that everyone knows. Yeah, we we have the the rules, mm -hmm. which which are are good, and now we just have to convince everyone, and it's easy to convince them because everyone sees that it works, and so so even on on the on the global scale it works, but maybe also just just every rule is, is constructed in a way that it leads to, to a good human life. Yeah. This, this would be nice to have. I mean, I can't argue with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, <laughs> and, and I think I can add a final wish on Johan's behalf, which is for you all to subscribe to his YouTube channel. <laughs> because we are going to end uh, the episode of Math Speed Dating there. So as I mentioned, do go and check out Johan's YouTube channel, The Fuchs. Nice. Yes, there we go. Um, and also do remember to subscribe to my channel, Tom Rocks Maths, if you've enjoyed this particular video. So thank you as always for watching. Thank you to Johan for joining and I'll see you all soon. Yeah, it was a pleasure to, to be here at Oxford.